uh, which is Big Pay and our super app. Um, and we're at Red Aviation Services, which is uh, our engineering company, uh, GTR, uh, ground handling company, and Suntan, uh, the owner of our Nasilama. We are going to create another company, uh, which will hold our brand. Um, it's going to be run by Rudy and a few other assets going in there. So, you know, we're coming to the end of this incredible journey of taking an airline and creating separate businesses that have tremendous value. And I think, you know, we're beginning to see investors, we're beginning to see uh, analysts to kind of show what we are. So let's now focus on what AirAsia Digital has achieved. I mean, it's fantastic what I've been saying on the future of where we're going, okay? So today is in, in some ways um, uh, Independence Day for AirAsia Digital. Uh, we are now, uh, I say we, putting my hat on because I'm announced myself as the new boss um, in true dictatorial style. But we uh, are moving away a little bit from AirAsia the airline because we're much more than AirAsia the airline. We're with Food Panda because we think they will do a better job than us. And it might be another company in Indonesia, and it might be someone else in Korea. But we also supplement that, because not everyone wants takeaway food. They want sometimes to go to restaurants. And so Swansa and his team has been inundated with restaurants who want to work with us. We're a big believer in subscription. Of course, it had kind of stop and start because COVID wasn't over when we launched it. People are still chasing for refunds. But we believe we want to give you, uh, you pay whatever the fee is, $600, you can travel all you want.